Let the truth come out, okay. let him have his, his say. At the moment, yeah. it's just presumed guilty, right? I'm, his case is his case. He will deal with his case. Nothing to do with me. I'll do the show. Right? Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing and today I've decided I'm going to keep lens cover on and I'm going to do a video like sporting icons because I want to be like sporting <laughs> I want to be behind the camera, I don't want people seeing what I look like it's no good that, you'll get accused of trying to be famous now, what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about Tyson Fury and we're going to talk about uh, Robert McCracken, that's what we're going to talk about, if you're happy with that. So, anyway, what I want to point out is that my videos are not a dig at anybody, I just try to cut through the bullshit so all you people who don't like my videos don't watch all you people who like them thank you very much for liking the, the for pressing the like button and subscribing and backing the channel and uh, because when you press the subscribe button you get your porky videos straight to your phone you don't have to go searching for them they come up straight on your phone right here we go Tyson Fury against Otto Wallin. What do people think to this fight? What do people really think? Or are people just scared to give an opinion on it in case they're called a hater? You're a hater! You're a hater! You know, that, that, that's, what, that's what I want to know. I want to know what people really think about Tyson Fury the best heavyweight in the world apparently he, well he's box rec number four Tyson Fury in the box rec have got Andy Ruiz number one well you'd have to do because he's got four belts Wilder number two he's got one belt that's the five belts gone the ring magazine's vacant. Joshua's not got a belt, but he fights Ruiz next for four belts. Fury's not got a belt, so that's your top four. Alexander Povetkin, five. They're your top five. Now, but Tyson Fury is known in some circles in boxing as this lineal champion, which to me is the biggest load of knackers I've ever heard in my life. just heard Tyson Fury hot boxing with Mike Tyson the other day on social media on YouTube and Mike Tyson asked him about being world champion and he said he vacated belts he had one he was stripped to IBF then he vacated other belts now if you vacate your belts don't you think that your lineal status goes as well with you I might be wrong I might be wrong, so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm not going to dig Tyson Fury out about this Laniel status. I'm going to say he's the Laniel champion of the world. Now the Laniel champion of the world, since he's come back from beating Vladimir Klitschko, he has fought Serifa Sarifi, who is 38th in the world. He went 38 when Tyson fought him. He's fought Francisco Pianetta. Who? Who's not even ranked anymore, so we don't even know what his ranking is. Wilder. He's the number two guy. He drew with him. Oh, you could give him it by a round, but the, in the record box it says he drew with him. Tom Swartz has ranked 56. 
and Otto Wallin's ranked 46, so Tyson's climbing ladders. So in six months he could be fighting somebody 36. I don't know. Is that me being a hater saying that? Am I being a hater? Pointing out statistics. So we've got the number four box rec guy in the world who hasn't got a belt against the number 46 guy in the world. All I keep hearing from Bob Aram is that uh, Tyson's fighting a guy who's 28 year old, six foot six, 18 stone, and he's a southpaw. That's what I keep hearing. He's big and he's coming to win. But I think we all know what's going to happen, don't we? But this is boxing for you, isn't it? This is boxing. And. Uh, if you don't say anything, you're weak. If you do say anything, you're a hater. So it's nice to be in the middle, isn't it? But if you sit in the middle, you're like Johnny Nelson, aren't you? And Coogan Cassius, company man. Coogan can't give an opinion, can he? Because he has to be neutral, unless Billy Joe or Tyson are fighting. But Johnny Nelson, he, he gives an opinion, but he gives the, gives the, gives the sky narrative, doesn't he? I want to see people being real. John Fury once said to me and Dave Allen, People need to be real. People need to be real. Be real, be real people. That's what he said. Be real people. I'll never forget it. Now, so when you look at Tyson's career, right, before we go into the Robert McCracken situation at the moment, let's look at Tyson's career. How many world title wins has Tyson Fury got? I mean, he's the best out there, isn't he, at the moment, skill-wise. And he's ranked number four. That's because he ain't got a belt, but skill-wise, he's the best out there, isn't he, really? Right? Or is it Andy Ruiz? I don't know, but Joshua made Andy Ruiz look like Sugar Ray Robinson, didn't he? Or Ali put together. Tyson Fury, the word is in boxing, he's the best out there. He's fighting a guy ranked 46. How many world title wins has Tyson got? He's got one world title win. 29 fights, 28 wins, one draw. One world title win. How many world champions has Tyson beat? He beat Steve Cunningham, who's, who was a cruiserweight champion. He beat Steve Cunningham and he beat Steve Cunningham six years ago. Now, and it was two year after Steve had. Uh, it was twenty six months after Steve had lost his. Uh, after Steve won his title. Because what he did, he lost his uh, world title to Johan Pablo Hernandez in October 2011. And in April 2013, Tyson knocked him out, KO'd him, after getting dropped himself. Now, Tyson says that was the best guy he's ever fought, and I can see why, because Steve Cunningham was a good fighter. He ended up with a career, 29 wins nine losses and a draw the only one to knock him out was Tyson Fury now people get going on about Tyson and he's great he's this and that but who has he beat I want to know who he's beat I want to get this sorted once and for all who has Tyson Fury beat who Who has he beat? Come on, tell me. I want to know. All you hardcores, send me your, send me your messages. I'm not bothered if the death threats are what. I want to get to the bottom of this. Who has Tyson Fury beat? Well, let's have a look. Let's go through his record. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's go back. Let's go as far back as... Let's go as far back as, say, 
Steve Cunningham, April 2013, six and a half year ago nearly. So Steve Cunningham, right, former champion, stepping up to, to heavyweight, giving away a lot of weight, he got knocked out. That's what Tyson should have done to him, so well done. But he goes from Steve Cunningham to Joey Abel, then he picks a lovely little style, Derek Chisora, which, were the, which was the uh, rematch. So he fights Chisora, a guy he's already beat. Then he beats Hamer. Then Vladimir. But then Serifa Sarifi. Come on. Come on, we're not having that, are we? But you've got to give him his dues. It were two years, seven months. Two, no, two years, two year, seven months later. So... 31 months after he's back, so... But since then he's been pretty active, hasn't he? 1, 2, 3, 4... This is his fifth fight in 15 months this weekend. So five fights in 15 months, that's pretty busy, isn't it? And Serifa, he were retired. Pianetti beat him on points. Wilder drew. Tommy Swartz. Tommy Swartz ranked 56 and now a guy ranked 46. Is the division that poor that it's not Tyson's fault that he's fighting? Because who can Tyson fight really out of the top 10? Let's have a look. Andy Ruiz is number one. He's tied up. Wilder's tied up, Joshua's tied up, Tyson's number four, Povetkin's just four, Dillian White's got this drug thing hanging over him, Jarrell Miller could have fought him but that'd be, I don't know if he deserves it to fight, Lewis Ortiz, he's tied up, is he with Wilder, we don't know, it's on and off all the time, Pulef, what about him, could have fought Pulef but would, would, would our juices be flowing with a pool left fight? I don't think so. Adam Kaunaki, what about him? He's just fought last month. What about Joseph Parker? Well, he's got Dillian White next. He, sorry, no, he, he's got Derek Chisora next. He's already fought Dillian White. Derek Chisora, He's got Parker, so the number 11 and the number 12 ranked guys are fighting, but Derek Chisora says it should be pay-per-view and headlining above uh, Taylor and Progray. Then you've got then you've got Ergofic, he's had nine fights. Uh, Dominic Brazil. He's not fought since May when Wilder iced him. He's probably still Recovering from that. Oscar Rivers. He's just fought Dillian White. And there's all sorts going on with him at the moment. He's not happy about a few things. He just fought in July. Uh, and that's basically top 15, isn't it, really? That's basically top 15. And so, I don't know, really know what's happening. Uh so, we can't really have a go at Tyson Fury, can we? Because Tyson, Tyson's just doing the best for himself in a minute. It's, it's really hard for him to get matched, isn't it? Now, I haven't seen the IFL interview with Tyson, but he's saying that if Wilder don't fight him 22nd of Feb, there'll be a lawsuit. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I think's been said. I probably need to double check that actually, but I haven't seen his interview because I just haven't got time. Is Wilder next? I'm going to say no. Wilder's not next after uh, Wallin. Is Joshua next? No, I'm going to say T Tyson Fury will not fight Wilder or Joshua in 2020. Could be wrong, but I'm going to go with that. Why would you want to fight them guys when you can keep milking belts? Who will be next? I think it'll be Chisora. I think Chisora and Tyson Fury is a good fight for Tyson because Tyson's already beat him up twice before, hasn't he? 
Uh, and Chisora, look at the situation he's in at the moment. Him and David A are trying to hold uh, Eduardo to ransom, aren't they? So, who knows? Chisora could even be in ring in Vegas this weekend. Would have put it past Elboy? Fighting Tyson Fury? Uh, no, I won't, to be honest. No, I won't. Fury versus Chisora 2 was a massacre, wasn't it? Del Boy quit, he ended up in hospital with damaged cheekbone and all sorts, didn't he? Don Charles pulled him out. Does Tyson Fury give a hoot about people complaining about the fighters that he's fighting at the moment? No, I don't think he does, to be honest, at the moment. Not when you're banking millions and millions of pounds. It's a bit like Tommy Fury's only had two fights, hasn't he? Really? And he's on his way to a million quid, isn't he? <laughs> Off at back of what? These people have got social media and platforms and getting themselves out there. They've got it down to a fine art, haven't they? You've got to make sure that you don't do an overload of it, though. And put yourself under a lot of pressure, because you could end up driving yourself mad, to be honest. So, a bit like Dave Allen, he's just done his own, he's done his own heading, hasn't he? We, uh, all the stuff that he puts out there, but it is what it is, we'll get back to that in a couple of days when it all settles down. And I just hope that David's alright. Now, does Tyson give a hoot, as I've just said there? No, I don't think he does. Uh I don't blame Tyson really to be honest, we're just getting as much money in as he can because he's been treated really appallingly Le by British public after he won world title. They didn't treat him nice him, him very nice and press went after him. So but it is what it is, isn't it? But like I said, these guys that Tyson's fighting, uh, Tommy Swartz and Otto Wallin. Daniel Dubois, our British champion, he'd just blow through these people, wouldn't he? He'd just blow them away. So, somebody mentioned the Laniel thing t to me in an email. I don't believe in all that Laniel thing, but I do think Tyson's probably got the best skill set out there. But I think it's the poorest heavyweight era since the Larry Holmes era. You know, the lost generation. It is that poor. The era is just shocking. Will Tyson Fury win? Will he beat Otto Wallin? Yeah, he will beat him. I think he beats him on points. That's what I think. If he stops Wallin, I'll be impressed. Because I'd like to see Tyson get a stoppage. But let's have it right. Otto Wallin is a patsy. Isn't he really? He's a patsy. So, that's about it really. So, peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing it's just a uh, just a quick just a quick video regarding Tyson's fight this weekend uh, you know on the undercard you've got well what have you got here do, do, do any does anybody know any of these on undercard <laughs> You've got seven fights on the show altogether. Well to eight. Abram Martinez, 7-0, against Kevin Johnson. Heavyweight, you've got Guido Vianello, 4-0, against Cassius Anderson, 7-1. Then you've got Asidro Ochio, Super Bantam, 7-0, against Iskander Kirsten, 6-0. Then you've got Felix... Valera 18 and 2 against Wyshalaf Shabransky 20 and 2. That that's a light heavy. Then you've got a lightweight Jose Pedraza 26 and 2 against Jose Sapida 30 and 2. Then you've got Super Bantam Emmanuel Navarrete 28 and 1 against Juan Miguel Elode 28 and 1. Then you've got Tyson Fury 28 and 0 and a draw against Otto Wallin 20 and 0. That's it. Frank Warren in association with Bob Arum. And it's uh, September 14th at the T-Mobile Arena.
in Vegas, Las Vegas, one, two, three, four, six, seven, seven fights on. So, the show, in my opinion, is piss poor. You've got one world title fight on there, Navarrete against Elordi. All these people here will not be getting much money at all because Tyson's taking the big check home, isn't he? So everybody else is going to be on chicken feed because they can't put the money up for everybody to go on the show. It's not a stacked card. It's very, very poor. It's very, very poor, and I don't see, I don't see one. Frank Warren fighter on here. I might be wrong, but I just don't see one Frank Warren fighter on here. Now there's none of them are Frank Warren fighters. Only Tyson Fury. And is this for Tyson Fury's last fight with Frank Warren? I don't know, but looking at his record, it's his fifth fight with Frank Warren. His fifth and last one. Now they said he fight, signed a multi-fight deal. Now Frank Warren, when he means multi, he always means he means five fights. Now if this is the last fight, and Tyson Fury is saying tata to Frank Warren, Frank Warren can feel well and truly shafted royally. He can feel royally shafted, proper gypsy style. If that's true, but who knows? Who knows? I mean. It's an horrible game, isn't it? I mean, if Frank could shaft Tyson first, would he do that? I don't know. I'll leave that for you to decide at home. Uh, but it is what it is, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. And I, need, I now need to sort my camera out because it's set on 12 minutes instead of 30 on each set. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Shout out to Climber Cool of the... Climate Cool of Doncaster, the South Yorkshire packaging. Thank you very much. Boom. Gonna go for free, uh, free for twenty quid. <laughs> Come on.